Hi, and welcome to the Synthesize.ai tutorial on image labeling. This video will not cover uh, image labeling for classification. For this, there is another video tutorial. However, we will cover all other types of image labeling. To start labeling images, just right click on an image and select labeling. By default, this will initialize labeling on all of the images. If you want to label only some specific images, you can select them uh, using your mouse or you can also uh, use uh, various filtering options that we have. To label bounding boxes, select the bounding box tool or click B on your keyboard and then just uh, draw a bounding box around the objects you want to label. Uh, to enter the object name, uh, just uh, click on this field and either enter it by hand or select from the drop-down menu. After you label the bounding box, you can uh, move it uh, and resize it as necessary. If you want to draw a bounding box on top of a current one, you can select a new object or just click N on your keyboard. Afterwards, you can draw a bounding box on top of a current one. You can change the name of uh, the bounding box by selecting the bounding box and uh, using the numbers of your keyboard. You can change uh, which number corresponds to which label by using these uh, drop-down menus in uh, settings. We have many other keyboard shortcuts uh, to assist uh, labeling. You can see the list of uh, keyboard shortcuts by clicking on this question mark. To label polygons, switch to the polygon mode. Just uh, click on the image where you want to add the points uh, to the polygon. To finish the polygon, just click on the original uh, point or click enter on your keyboard. Afterwards, you can uh, drag the original points or you can add uh, new vertices to the polygon. To delete the vertex, uh, just uh, switch to the delete mode or just click R on your keyboard and uh, click on the vertices you want to delete. If you want to delete the whole uh, polygon, you can just uh, click on the polygon. After you draw a polygon, you can add uh, holes uh, to the polygon. To, to add holes, uh, click H on your keyboard and uh, draw a polygon uh, like before, except that this time it will be a hole inside the polygon. The holes can also be moved, resized, and new vertices can be added. Uh, you can also draw a new polygon on top of existing one uh, by clicking new object. Sometimes uh, one object might be occluded by another object as seen in this image. Uh, in this case you might want to mark that this piece of an object belongs to the same object as uh, this piece of an object. So uh, in this case, you want to uh, label by a polygon uh, one piece, then click new polygon in a group and mark by a polygon another piece of the object. In this case, uh, one object will have uh, two polygons. You might also want to mark this uh, object as occluded. So, uh, you can do this by clicking here or clicking O on your keyboard. Notice that uh, the edges of occluded object will be uh, marked with dashed lines. Another useful feature is the possibility to add key points. Just click add key points and click on the position where you want to add the key point. Then enter its name. Then you can uh, click on some more key points and enter their names. After you are done entering key points for one object, 
you can click uh, save uh, icon to save the uh, template uh, next uh, when you add key points uh, for another object the key point names will automatically appear then you can do this for multiple objects another feature that might be useful is the possibility to add attributes for example uh, here you can add attribute male asian dark hair and so on uh, it is possible to add uh, key points and attributes both to the bounding boxes and uh, to the polygons alternatively to labeling polygons you can label bitmaps to draw bitmaps just select bitmap tool and draw a bitmap on your image uh, you can resize the bitmap uh, here you can also use the fill tool and you can also use erase tool the bitmaps can be converted to polygons and vice versa the number of points of the converted polygon can be changed in settings if you uncheck uh, simplify polygons converted from bitmap setting uh, you will get more points when converting uh, bitmap to polygon as you can see here uh, not only polygons but also uh, the bounding boxes can be converted to bitmap you can actually just uh, click rasterize all objects uh, button and all objects will be converted uh, to uh, bitmaps in order to speed up uh, the bitmap labeling process we have added a smart labeling tool to use the smart labeling tool you first need to select uh, the area where it will be active then you'll need to draw a little bit of the foreground of the object and a little bit of the background Uh, then you can just click extract and the smart labeling tool will do the best uh, to extract uh, the object uh, from the foreground that you draw that you drew you can click extract uh, another time so the result will uh, change slightly but uh, you can also uh, add more foreground and uh, more background to make the results even more precise as you can see where the contrast uh, is uh, large uh, the smart labeling tool works pretty well however where the contrast is uh, lower uh, the smart labeling tool might not work so well so it might be easier just to click done and then uh, zoom in into these areas and adjust uh, the bitmap by uh, drawing it manually the other labeling tools that we have are polylines and points i'll leave it uh, to explore these uh, labeling tools on your own sometimes when labeling objects it might be useful to turn off visibility of a particular object so you can label more objects behind it you can do this by clicking this icon you can also hide all objects in an image by clicking this button and uh, show all objects by clicking this button you can always undo the last change by uh, clicking this icon or just Ctrl Z on your keyboard. Once you are done labeling your image, you can download image labels by clicking this icon. Here you can select which labels you want to download. For the moment, uh, I'll just leave all the boxes checked. In the downloaded zip file, you'll find a JSON uh, file with all image labels. 
such as polygons, uh, bounding boxes, polylines, and points. You'll also find uh, uh, the classification labels in CSV format. You'll find the original images and you'll find bitmaps. The bitmaps uh, have two versions. One version is the colored bitmap, which can be used uh, for semantic segmentation. And the other version uh, is uncolored bitmap, uh, where each object is uh, in a separate bitmap, which is black and white. This can be used uh, for, uh, for instance segmentation. If you want to download uh, labels for all of the images, you can just select all images, right click on an image and click download. It will be presented with the same download options as for a single image. Moreover, you can also upload image labels if you have labeled uh, them somewhere else. Just click upload labels and select the option you want to upload. So this is all I wanted to share about image labeling using Sentasite.ai. Thanks for watching.